at the Air Force Academy, we're very focused on our, our mission of teaching, and my research involves plants, and uh, I'm currently developing an identification guide for the flora of the Pikes Peak region and the Air Force Academy, uh, which is uh, 18,000 acres of beauty nestled in the Rocky Mountains. I think my interest uh, comes from a, a young child. I would be out in the woods a lot, so I was always climbing trees or building tree forts or uh, spending my time uh, just by the streams and uh, with friends out in the woods. So I just love being out in nature and that really spurred me to go into biology. And as a biologist, I, I wanted to kind of know what these uh, plants, animals, insects, uh, snakes, uh, lizards, and all those things around me were. The idea of my students identifying plants is really having them really look at the world around them in the ways I did as, as a young boy. The field of plant identification is fairly small, but what we're doing now is actually connecting uh, the identification of objects such as plants with some of that learning process. How do people look and get a visual impression of a plant and then connect that to their understandings of names, uh, habitat, and really getting the power of a name. So once you get the name of a plant, then it, it enters a whole new perspective for the student. It really does change that relationship. There's a certain uh, familiarity and comfort that comes along with, with knowing that. There's a certain sense of power of knowing the name of a, of a plant or, or an animal. My future research is just continuing to probably add more and more plants to my guide. It seems like every time I go out I discover new plants and I discover new ways of looking at how I work. So, okay, I encounter a plant that I don't know. How do I go about coming to a name through, whether it's through a field guide or whether I, by looking at it, looking at its leaves and its, its flowers. There's a lot of kind of what we call metacognition about thinking about your own thinking. Then I translate that into um, how maybe my students can uh, more efficiently get to that name. Really looking at ways of, in the future, uh, using some numbers, maybe numbering particular parts of the plant and coming to a more efficient way that students can get to a name. You know, in a few minutes, everybody likes to kind of get to it fairly efficiently. The ability to, to come to that name through the encounter with the plant, the ability to get to that name through observation and seeing different things is really, uh, the, the really where my work is headed.